did Takeoff and Quavo's music video, Messy, actually predict Takeoff's death? So I'm doing a deep dive, and look right here, you guys. You see my arrow? There is, in their music video, there's literally the Grim Reaper, the Grim Reaper with R.I.P. right next to uh, to Takeoff. And I'm tripping out because there's so many correlations in this music video to what happened. This this uh, this all happened on Halloween. I mean, yo, this is kind of eerie. This is kind of eerie. Let's get into this, you guys. Before we get into this, don't forget to like, share, and comment on all of the content. If you're really rocking with the vibe of the channel, subscribe. We're about to hit 43,000 subs, but we got to get to 50K, then 100. But other than that, yo, you're rocking with the 40-year-old FUQ Boys podcast. Let's dive into this. 40-year-old fuck boys are back in town. kind of hard to get upbeat to that uh, intro when you're dealing with such dark subject matter, but let's dive into this um, because, you know, they say art imitates life, life imitates art, but there's a lot of weird correlations to their most recent music video and takeoffs death. Now, we could also get into more of the details as they come and the problematic situation with the culture. No one has come forward and they're still looking for a suspect. And this was done, you know, a lot of people around, everyone saw something, but apparently no one's come forward because they're still looking for the suspect and using camera footage to figure this out. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into this. Before that, though, don't forget, um, we got a dope new Harry Mack reaction on the channel with the reminders. Also just dropped a freestyle. This Friday, I have my first freestyle in front of 300 people live. I did the three-word routine check that out it's going down music video prophecy on the way so check all that stuff out on the channel and let's get in to this mess man this is a mess it really is a mess so um this is what i so i was going back and i was checking out this music video now this is interesting right here first and foremost the number three 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 now there's these numbers that pop up continually and you guys will have to put me on game okay Leave it in the comment or the chat if you're into like, what is it called? Is it called germatia or dermatia? I forget. And numerology signs that, you know, people say you start to see these these numbers reoccurring, especially when you're dealing with uh, um, like new world order type stuff. Now, I haven't done a deep dive on that. My homie uh, uh, Donut is a beast with this stuff. Like he is on top of his stuff. That was the first thing I noticed, though. You know, wasn't the, didn't they say that was the age of Jesus when he died too, like 33 or something like that? Um, but anyways, something to that number, just seeing 333 three, three right off the bat. That's their music video, okay? Now, this is the most eerie part. This is literally, I'm going to play the music video so you can see I'm not just Photoshopping some stuff and making it up, but so you can see it clearly. This says R.I.P. This right here is Takeoff. Now, this is a Halloween music video that dropped two days before Halloween. And my man, now people are getting this conflicted. They're like, oh, you know, someone said sacrifice on Halloween. But if you look at everything, he didn't pass on Halloween. He passed on November 1st because it was after a Halloween party at like one or two in the morning. So um, I think that's interesting. But there is a saying like not trying to get super conspiratorial or like, you know, rabbit hole ish. But what I wanted to highlight is something that all of us know. And there's a saying, art imitates life, life imitates art. And I've been reading this book, Think and Grow Rich. And it talks about how things in your subconscious can come to life. And you got to really plant the right things in your subconscious so you can manifest them. This isn't the only time I've seen this. That's why I went back to watch this video because I was like, maybe there's something there. And sure enough, first thing I saw was the number 33. I was like, all right, let me play it. But this was the most, the most eerie and interesting part of this, because right here you see R.I.P. and the Grim Reaper next to takeoff. Now I'm going to play this so you guys know that I'm not just, you know, talking out my A. This is, this is the music video, and this is close to the end, you know? So I thought that was crazy, but then there was more symbols in it. 
Now, the song's called Messy, and you got to think the situation they were in is definitely messy, but, um, you know, let's not go off the deep end conspiratorially, but even this right here, I thought this was interesting. Now, this skeleton, now they're in a haunted house, so you're going to see skeletons, right? You're going to see Grim Reapers and stuff, but the fact that it's right next to takeoff is an, it seems like a symbol, you know? It seems like a symbol, and um, again, I'm not trying to be like, oh, you know, some people will say, yo, this was blah, blah, blah. I'm just saying, isn't it kind of eerie and creepy, these connections here? And when you, we think about that saying, art imitates life, life imitates art, I personally know some homies. They're in like what you call a horrorcore group, and they always rap about self-deletion. If you guys don't know what self-deletion, I try to say it that way. So YouTube doesn't um, punish me for saying, you know, the boom, you know. So anyways, they always rap. Horrorcore is like really dark and, you know, they rap about self-deletion. And one of the artists in this group self-deleted himself. Everyone was all upset. And I was just kind of like, well, they rap about this all the time. This is always in their music. It didn't to me. It didn't like it was kind of like these things manifest and I see it. Even me, I've changed my music a little bit because I've seen, I'm like, I've seen how powerful putting these things into the universe can be. So we got to be kind of cautious as artists what we put into the universe. Now, this is just eerie because my man Pat got passed away that literally on like Halloween night or hours into November 1st after doing a Halloween music video that has all these little symbols popping up. So one, we have this symbol right here. This is a skeleton right next to takeoff again. Um, now, I don't know if in the music, so now at the beginning of the music video, they're waking up from a bad dream. So in the beginning of the music video, these brothers are waking up from a bad dream and they're like, oh yeah, da, 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 but they're talking about this haunted house. But, um, you know, with Quavo speaking, it's really interesting how this could be interpreted as imagine waking up the next day after, um, I don't know if they're cousins, brothers or what, but, um, you know, your family has passed. Like, imagine that. That would be a nightmare, right? So, I mean, we see that this, I mean, it could be interpreted. You know how this sometimes, you know, people go too far, but that's the beginning of the video. They're waking up from like a bad dream. They're like, yo, it was messy. Now, what they were involved in Halloween night would definitely got messy. So, um, you know, all this stuff is kind of wild. Now, they're in a haunted house. There's that skeleton again right there next to take off. You know, he starts rapping. And, of course, he's in a haunted house. So, you know, there's a lot of different things going on throughout here. Nothing that I really see crazy symbology or anything that other than that skeleton and that uh, Grim Reaper. But there was one part in here that I saw that I thought was unique too. Right here, they're playing cards. Playing cards. And I don't know if that is a die right there, a die, meaning dice. Let me backtrack it just a little bit. But they're playing cards. And um, Brother Man, they, they got, you know, he, he got shot at a, uh, what is it, a, a dice game. That's where, at a dice game, you guys. So I just think there's so many symbols in here. I'm like, yeah, that is a dice. I think that's a dice right there too. And they're gambling. But why would there be a dice in a card game? Let's look. Is that a dice? I, I think that's a dice, yo. And look, they're arguing. Look, they're fight. Look, tell me that's not strange, you guys. Just tell me that I'm not crazy. I mean, I'm not saying that this is the reason it happened, da, 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 but I'm just saying there's so many. This came out two days before all of this happened or one day. Look at that. Look at that. I, I swear there's dice on that table. There is dice on that table, but they're playing a card game for money and they get in a little argument. Look, look, boom. Look. So that's very eerie. That's another eerie signal in there. And so, I mean, my man's just rapping, but those were the main things that I picked up on. You got these little symbol, you know, demonic looking things throughout the video, which um, I don't really play with that. I know people think I'm a sucker. You know, I know some of y'all think I'm crazy because I, because I, you know, 
some people think I'm crazy because I believe in God, which is wild. But um, uh, yeah, I don't know what to tell y'all. There's just a lot of stuff in here. Um, but it's all dark. But again, the the most eerie part is this part. So right after Quavo raps, the most eerie part is this part right here. This part. Him being right next to the Grim Reaper. That is, if that isn't crazy to you guys, if that doesn't make you, you know, think a little bit like, yo, what's going on here? So let's let's go through this whole thing, the correlations that I've made. And let, let me know what you guys think in the chat, in the comments. Am I crazy? Is there something here? You know, some people start connecting, yo, this number, that number, it means this. Is it? I'm just saying this. Art imitates life. Life imitates art. We have a brother who went to a Halloween party. After the Halloween party, had a dice game. Okay, there was a shootout. He got, um, he he got struck and he passed away. So we take that. We look at this music video. We have a brother going into a haunted house, a Halloween house. There's a moment in this music video where people are playing cards for money and there's a dice, what looks like a dice on the table. This one brother who actually passed away is seen sitting next to the Grim Reaper and it says RIP. And another signal was he's sitting next to a skeleton, which typically represents death. And that, if that's not coincidence or... I'm just saying that's massively eerie. And the only thing I could think of was art imitates life. Life imitates art. You know, I've been really reading this book, Think and Grow Rich, lately. So this is wild, you guys. Wild, wild, wild stuff. So I don't know what you guys think about that. Tap in the chat. Tap in the comments. Let me know. Um, you know, I was just randomly looking at this stuff actually let me pull that up so again and the video is at 333 maybe i should look up what what does 333 symbolize what does that symbolize let's see here um let me see what i can find on the number 33 what does 33 symbolize um what does 33 oh 333 mean that's the first thing that pops up all right let me pull it up and let's just see what we got here because I do think this is massively interesting. All right. Um, so what does seeing 33 mean? It means it is time for you to make the change in your life that are about that are being put into question. The angles are encouraging you to put one foot in front of the other advised angle. 33 did it meaning numerology. Um, let's see here if there's anything else here. 33, angel number, meaning a comprehensive guide. Uh, da, 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 da. The age of Jesus when he died. Age of Jesus. Because I always heard that Jesus died when he was 33. Yeah, 33. So that was true. Let me look this up real quick. Now, I'm not going to get into the conspiracy of this because it's, all, you know, rest in peace to this brother. I know his family's going through a bunch of stuff. I just thought this was worth highlighting because I keep seeing artists put certain symbols in their music, in their messaging, and I don't even think they realize how much power that can have. So, yeah, I've heard that too. People talk about the 33 degrees of a mason. Uh, I'm not going to get into that because I, I don't know enough about that. But what I will say is this is very sad and it is very crazy um, all those correlations in this music video. Now, what I want to get into too is a little bit about culture before we get out of here. One, the pr primary thing I wanted to talk about is if you are an artist or you're putting things into the universe, be cautious and aware of what you're putting out there. You know, people talk about the law of attraction, the secret, and everyone's like, oh, the secret's fake. The secret's fake. That's what I heard a lot of people say. The secret's fake. And I, I understand why people might allude to something like that, but, um, you know, energy isn't fake and the way things happen, 
you just got to be o- awake to what's going on and and aware because you do attract things and things that are in your subconscious i really do believe um come back to you full fold whether it's good or bad and so you got to really be trying to you know put the good there because uh and that's what i've done in my life i've seen this happen i've seen this happen firsthand you know what i'm saying stuff that i like never should have happened like i remember i went to my very first jujitsu tournament as a white belt and i was not that good but I kept envisioning myself just winning, putting my hand up with the gold medal. I kept saying, let's go, champ. And I went and I won, I won first place. It was really close at the end, but I did win. There's little things. And some of y'all be like, bro, you're tripping. But you have these masterful things. Even there have been times where I wrote down this number. I was like, this year I want to hit six figures. And I wrote down that number. And I literally hit that number that year. There's little things where I'm like, wow, you're a little more powerful then people would care to admit your mind is more powerful than they'd care to admit. Now, when you're making art, art is very powerful. Now, I'm not saying this is the reason brother passed. I'm not even saying it predicted his passing, but I am saying that is crazy, right? Let's look when this came out. Okay. So this dropped two days ago, two days ago, this came out. He passed away one day ago. So it came out one day before his passing. Think about that for a second. Think about all these correlations. And maybe it's just coincidence, but isn't that a lot of coincidences? The skeleton, the Grim Reaper, the nightmare, the card game. I mean, 33, maybe I'm reaching. Maybe with the number 33, I'm reaching. If you guys know more about numerology and numbers than I do, please, please tap into the chat in the comments. But that might be reaching a little bit. But isn't that kind of wild? Oh, man. And the song is called Messy. What what more of a messy situation? Now, I was watching uh, uh, some uh, some news sources talk about this. There is a lot of different things going on. They have the footage of someone who pulled out the gun. They don't know if he shot first. Uh, Brandon Tatum was alluding to the fact that... uh, So, first key is that Takeoff might have got hit by a stray bullet like that wasn't intended for him. Someone just shooting into a crowd and he and he actually got shot. It wasn't like, yo, I'm going to take him out. So that's the big key component that I'm hearing recently. The other thing is Brandon Tatum said it might have been accidental, like someone shooting back from his team and it got him. I don't know if that's true or not. We're going to find all these things out as things progress. But this situation was messy. Now imagine, oh, anyways, anyways, before I get out of here, this is kind of off of the topic we're on. Let's talk about culture. Have you noticed that there is more black rappers, Latino rappers, white rappers? There's really not that many Asian rappers. There's a few. Um, I don't think there's that many like Arabic rappers. And if there are, they're not huge, but there's Latin, black, and white. That's what you see the most of for the most part, you know, and if I'm wrong, Correct me. I know there's other races rapping, but it just seems like in the limelight, you see black, Latino, white. Okay. Now, what I've started to notice is this divide in culture. For example, then you guys, let's, you know, I'm not trying to make this a black or white thing. It's just something that I I saw. And then, and you tell me if I'm with rappers, the violent passing of a lot of these rappers tend to be black. The violent stuff tends to be black, it seems like. And then with the white rappers, it tends to be opiate addiction. You know, like the Mac Millers, the little, didn't Lil Peep, somewhat like, you know, you're seeing. Now, I'm not saying any race is above ODing and stuff, but what I will say is I see more violence in the black culture when it comes to rappers. It's like, like I think they said seven rappers have been killed this year. That's not dead. I believe it's seven rappers have been killed this year and we're about to be in the 12th month. So every other month, a rapper has been shot and killed. And that's the ones that are like big. You know, we just lost PMB rock. I mean, the list kind of goes on you guys. Like it's uh, we young Dolph, you know, we lost young Dolph. That was this year. I believe Um, PMB rock now take off. Like it's senseless violence. And I thought this was interesting. Now I'm about to look cause I'm not, uh, super familiar with like Mac Miller stuff. 
And I wonder if there's a lot of like drug usage uh, rapping in his stuff. I liked a lot of his early stuff when he was like super into hip hop. You know what I mean? Um, it's interesting because this video pops up first, self care. And I have no clue what it's about. But when he went out, you know, I haven't tried to make any correlations. But anyways, I thought this was interesting. And I just think, you know, I, I was saying this in my live stream the other night that um, hip hop is the news. They report what they're seeing in their community. So everyone wants to fight hip hop right now. They want to get mad at hip hop. Yo, we got to change. We got to da 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 da. But I would tell them this. I don't believe hip hop is the is is the is the issue. It's not the root cause. See, that's like, you know, your doctors nowadays. They want to treat the symptoms. Hip hop is the symptom of what's going on in the community. You know what I'm saying? Hip hop is the symptom of what's going on in the community. It's not the root cause. So I would say if we fix our community and start working on what's going on in our community, the music will change. Again, this goes back to what we were talking about at the beginning. Art imitates life. Life imitates art, right? So I think all these correlations in that music video, I hope you know no one took that as disrespect, me seeing these correlations. Like I'm not trying to you know, present anything you know, in, a, in a bad light. I mean, this brother just passed. It's very sad. It's super sad. A, another young, talented black millionaire. Gone. 28. 28 years old, you guys. <laughs> Craziness. It is literally crazy, and it's disturbing. But again, think about these correlations. Think about that when you look at hip-hop. Because people, you know, people will be like, oh, we need to get guns, or we need to do this, we need to do that. Yo, the root cause is it's the culture. It's the, and not the hip-hop culture. It's the culture in our community. You know, these people, if you're rolling around, you live by the sword, you know how that goes. You know the rest of that. And it's just unfortunate that that's what we saw this time. Man, it ain't even fair. But life ain't fair. And I hate to say that, but that's just the truth. That's just the damn truth. Just the dang truth, you guys. So I hope we're all waking up, you know. I would hate to see someone else pass before the new year from the hip-hop culture. I mean, people passing in general is sad. But this is getting wild. You know, they say, oh, hip-hop is the most dangerous job. No, that's not true. That's not true because I'm in the underground, and this stuff doesn't happen in underground boom-bap backpack hip-hop. You know, and if it did, it's super, super rare. You ain't seeing this happen at an Atmosphere concert or a Jedi. And Jedi Mind Tricks is hardcore rap. You're not seeing this happen at a Jedi Mind Tricks concert. Um, it is what it is. It's these different cultures, it, the way they collide. And unfortunately, they're, it, it, man, I've got to say it. i got to say it, I think, because I just said Atmosphere, Jedi Mind Tricks. I'm thinking about the underground rap scene. But even like a De La Soul concert, this isn't happening. Then I'm thinking about that audience, and that audience is uh, majority like it's majority white. It is what it is. It seems like there's an issue with violence in black culture. I just got to say it. I don't want to say it because I don't want to condemn any. I'm not trying to condemn. I'm just saying like I've toured my whole life. I've traveled. I've been in and out of clubs. I've done concerts. I've toured all of America, Canada, Europe. <sighs> Damn. That sucks. But the more I look at it, it does seem to be a culture, a culture issue. There's some, uh, there's a lot of violence within our culture and there's violence in every culture, but yikes, yikes. And I, I think the music amplifies that. I, I still, I will still argue that it's not the root cause. I don't believe it's the root cause. I believe it's like the news reporting on what's going on in the environment but I do believe it amplifies it. It makes it almost cool now. Like, yo, I'm this. My ops can get this. Oh, you sus. Bang, bang, bang. It is what it is. So I don't know, man. I'm freestyling off the uh, off the cuff. I'm kind of rambling. This subject's deep to me because I love hip-hop. I love hip-hop culture. And I see this. I hate to see this happen to young brothers. And this is what is really bad about this is that it's normal. Now it's normal. For black men, rappers, successful millionaires to get shot and killed, go to jail. Like, it's just normal. 
And it, it is kind of wild. You know, some people might get harp on me when I was doing like the, oh, like making the comparison of black rappers getting killed violently, which it is seems to be happening way more than, let's say, white rappers, you know, and white rappers have been like kind of ODing, you know, oh, yeah, XX Extension got murked. Man, there's so many rappers that got shot and killed violently. It is really intense. But then we had like Juice World. I think he passed away. He, you know, took all that stuff. So, I mean, there's outliers, right? Exceptions to the rule. But I just, I just want to keep it real on this one. Anyways, rest in peace to take off. It is very sad that this had to happen. And it's really what's crazy is like when you go back and watch the music videos, you feel like you're watching a ghost because you're seeing the life of someone in front of you. You know, it's like when I go watch old Bruce Lee movies or Malcolm X footage or Martin Luther King or JFK speeches. And you're like, wow, this is a ghost, you know, and it's so weird because he was alive a day ago and now he's not. And watching his music videos just full of live hat. I mean, he's the man. He's the man. They conquered the world. Think about that. In a world where, especially in America, where people will be like, yo, there's this, that, and the other, you know. Anyways, let's not get into that rant right now. They conquered the world. Very influential voices all over the world. Very successful brothers. And this is how it had to end. At a dice game. And now, now we're finding out those bullets might not have even been meant for him. Someone shooting. Just think about that. Anyways, you guys, I'd love to hear what you think about all of these comments that I've made. Again, I think the essential of this was that art imitates life. Life imitates art. Um, you do manifest things and attract things into your life via your subconscious. I believe art and entertainment and music can fast track and amplify that. So if you're an artist or you're consuming art, please be aware of these things because they will come for you. And I'm not saying in this situation they came for him. I'm just saying, hey, you guys, I'm, I'm, I'm delivering these, these uh, things that I saw as signals and symbols. And I don't know what it means. It's very eerie. Oh, I didn't even... So not to get a copyright claim, but if you guys go play this song, Messy, listen to the beat. The sample is like a reverse sample. So they even knew, like, when they made the song, they knew it sounded scary. Because whenever you reverse something, it gives you that eerie, scary feeling. Okay? So, um, yeah, there's uh, some eeriness to that. And it's in the song. Maybe that's why they made it like a Halloween music video. But it's just there's all these things together where you're like, that is very, very, very crazy. Anyways, you guys let me know what you think in the comments, in the chat. Um, I hope you guys are being doing good out there, you know. This is kind of dark subject matter. I don't always, you know, talk. Actually, I talk about everything on this channel. But I, I think... I want to talk about uplifting, lighthearted stuff and laugh like, ah, ah, you know, but hey, this is life, you guys. This is real life right here and stuff we need to talk about. And, um, you know, I do. I could go on about the culture stuff, but let's talk about putting things into the universe because uh, over that, I believe, you know, we do manifest a lot more than we, we think, you know, a lot more than we think. Anyone out there trying to change their life too, you know, dive into some of these books like Think and Grow Rich. Start changing your mindset, you know. Life is what you make it for sure. Anyways, um, rest in peace to take off. Condolences to his whole family. Again, I'm, I'm not a huge, I don't listen to like trap rap and like this type of street rap. If I listen to street rap, it's like old school, like dip set and, and Jay-Z type stuff. So, you guys. That's it for me. Let me know what you think. Like, share, comment on all the content. If you're really rocking with the vibe, subscribe. And on that note, I'm getting out of here, yo. 40-Year-Old FUQ Boys Podcast. 40! Thank you for being some man. 40 years down the road back again. 40. FUQ.